All right, this video is going to show how to fix the corrupt data. I'm doing the prestige mod on the PlayStation 3. A lot of people keep having this problem with the ones they download because of the new patches and stuff. Uh, I already made the profiles. I have them on my PlayStation already. Um, they are corrupt because I modified them and that's where it messes up. It's when you modify them with the leaderboard tool, it messes them up. Alright. Bear with me on the camera and stuff. It's a new camera. I'm still trying to get used to it. As you can see, I got the patch blocker runner already. I already have deleted the new patch off of the PlayStation. And am running the game already, obviously. Alright. Mm -hmm. Show you that it is corrupt. We'll go and load my error files. I have two files one called 10, one called ER. I try to load it, and as you see, it says it is corrupt. You might be able to read it now. But it says it's corrupt. This is how you fix that. Just exit out the game. You can leave the patch blocker running. It won't affect nothing. But go down into your setup or settings. Go down to your network settings. You want to change them back to normal. I always do the easy. I run mine wired, so it picks it up. It acts to accept it, and I don't ever test it because I know it works. And then go back to the game, load up it. It's going to tell you that you got to install the patch. This is what's going to tell me I, I have removed it, so it will tell me that. And that is the patch 1.09, if y'all can't see that. I'm installing it now. Shouldn't take but a minute. Okay, I'll even see, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Probably should have used a smaller TV. If it don't come out good, I'll remake it or something. I have a bunch of complaints about it. I have a smaller TV in the bedroom I can use. Alright, now, you've seen, I do have the patch installed. So, of course, I cannot do the prestige hack. But, all this is, is to show you how to fix the corrupt data. For the ones that's having troubles with that because uh, there's a lot of people trying to make you pay money to do this for you and this is so simple it's ridiculous to do is you go into your split screen click join game load and I'm going to start with the ER again load the ER load complete just hit X it will bring that up just hit X again go back into split screen Hit join game, hit square to change the profile, now load, and I'm loading what I'm calling is 10, which is a level 10th prestige, which I'm going to be using later for, to show you how to do that. Load complete. Now with this one, you do have to play it, so click continue, just click start because the match setups really don't matter. Click auto assign anything. Get started. Just end the game.
that is it. To show you, I will back out and remove the pad. Go into the game data utility, find your modern warfare triangle, delete, yes. Now the patch is gone. Go back over to your setup, network settings, and change those. Go to custom. Just hit right because everything stays the same until you get to where you see an MTU at the top because the next one is proxy. You want to use proxy and hit X on the address. What you put in here is what you get displayed on the patch blocker itself. So whatever the patch blocker tells you is what you want to use. Which for me is, oddly enough, the dot one hundred. But all right, just everything else, like I said, and hit X. Like, like I said, I mean, you can test it if you want. I never do. I go back to load the game up now. Go in the multiplayer. Split screen, load, and either one you want, I'll do the ER, and it will load this time. Load complete. The corrupt data has been repaired.